Bet you're wondering, aren't you taking two weeks off? Yes, I am. Well, the William, anyway. Well, meanwhile, while William Veron, me, takes a break for two weeks, I'm still gonna do reviews as Rainbow Hooves because that's my job now and I like doing reviews. But I have a limited time right now because I just re because a couple of days ago I recorded my reaction for uh, uh, season eight finale. I forgot what it was called, and I can't do and the footage is still on my camera because I'm on limited camera space right now, <laughs> and I'm gonna stop talking now and just get to the review because the fact that I'm running out of camera footage and you can't see it here but I'm on seven minutes and 28 seconds so I have to hurry and I put 20 something here so let's get through it oh and hello everyone I'm Rainbow Hooves and this is the Sound of Silence review that I should have uploaded a couple weeks ago AKA two months or one month. Either way, I should have uploaded this a lot sooner than. Yeah. So. So, very special, number one. And when I wrote that, I think I was writing the fact that in the opening, Fluttershy and Applejack are once again being paired up, which only happened in the Flim Flam episode I'm never reviewing because I hate all the episodes that Flim Flam is ever in. I'm sorry, guys. I never ever loved them, never liked them as characters, never liked them as con men, since I suck at it. I just don't like any appearance that they're in. Just don't. Then the flinks don't lie, says Twilight, who talks about the fact that she wasn't called on this mission, which means this was specifically for Applejack and Fluttershy. And the one thing I didn't talk about, the theme. I love the theme. The theme song is awesome. Yeah, there's a lot of people who don't like the theme song of My Little Pony, but when it's gone, you're gonna miss it. Yeah. So they take a train, and a weird guy talks and talks. I forgot what he was talking about. He was just a weird dude. That's why I wrote for number five question marks. You can't really see because the camera's. In. Um. Oh, right. So, <laughs> so there's this one scene where it surprised me how it caught itself. I'm gonna hurry real quick because it's now on three minutes and ten seconds. So, point is, Fluttershy actually gets assertive. We can make it up. Huh? Applejack, can you please listen to me? <clears throat> Which surprised me because I thought they were going to continue with that joke. So I wrote number six. This joke sucks? Question mark. It's yeah. Anyway. So oh yeah. And number seven, the head tilt. It's so funny because they do because it's exactly like Michael Myers. Like the heads are like. It, it, it's like oh, it's not like slow motion like me. It's like. It's really creepy. I think I might show a clip of Michael Myers if I ever have the time. So, uh, clip of Michael Myers right now. If I didn't show you that, that means I'm lazy. And if I did, that means I'm actually dedicated. That, or I really just wanted to put a Michael Myers clip there. Anyway, uh, let's see. Oh yeah, the police exists. I never thought the police would exist in Equestria. Of all the things to exist. I guess that's canon. Also, the pun sucks. Anyway. Celebrity voice! Yeah. It's always that celebrity voice. Sometimes I don't like those. Um. Okay, there's a lot of questions. There's a lot of... Not questions. There's a lot of, uh... Um of numbers related to the to those creatures I forgot their names too oh well um 
Oh yeah, the wall of fire. Yep. So practically, there's this scene at the end where after Applejack finds finds out there's a cure for this sounds of silence thing that all these Kore Koreans, I think that's what they're called, these, these Koreans took to get rid of their voices because of the fact that if they, because if they get mad, they burst into flames, become these Ghost Rider knockoffs. I don't know, I forgot their name. And the main celebrity voice Korean I think that's her name. I think that's the species. I might be wrong a lot. And puts a wall of fire, which was awesome. Super cool. Love that. Oh, and a uh, reference to Wilson. So, clip of Wilson here. Um, also, the ending feels rushed. The ending really, really feels rushed. Because it just plays out with a song, and then the flanks glow, and then... Hoof bump! Ow! Gotta stop doing that! And that was it. That's that sound of silence, and that's mostly the end of my footage, because it's at six minutes and thirty-five seconds. And I almost have a minute to do this, so uh, the episode was good. Episode was great. Uh, kind of bad because it's kind of rushed in a couple of areas. Uh, the jokes on the, uh, for the celebrity guest feels flat to me. I don't I don't find them funny. I find them really annoying. Um, the, uh, the celebrity voice is not bad or self, it's just I prefer something else. So I'm at 7 minutes and 2 seconds, so I'm gonna stop right now and stop talking. So, uh, yeah, next review is gonna be the finale. So I'm Rainbow Hooves, allons and see you later. <laughs>